My name's Rosie Griffin. Uh, I'm the senior zoo supervisor here at Folly Farm Adventure Park and Zoo um, here in Pembrokeshire. I'm one of the lucky keepers that gets to look after our lovely sloths. Uh, who are hiding in their box, uh, fast asleep, as they normally are. So we've got Tuppy, uh, and he's our male uh, sloth, uh, and he came to us um, about two years ago now um, from a zoo in England, uh, and he's 24 years old. Uh, and then recently, uh, just before Christmas, he was joined by Lightcap, uh, so she's our female sloth, uh, and she's 34 years old, so she's a little bit older than him. She's actually the fifth oldest sloth in Europe, um, and yeah, so she's our new girl. Um, they're both cutched up together in the box at the moment. Uh, they're getting on a lot better. We never really set out to have a retirement home for sloths um, in particular. Um, it's, uh, it's just sort of um, a lovely uh, way that it's worked out. We're hoping that um, it'll free up other zoo enclosures um, around the country and around Europe um, for younger uh, pairs of sloths um, to take part in the breeding programme. Um, so these two um, have got other things on their minds these days, um, like sleeping and eating. Um, so yeah, we're um, giving them a, um, a nice home uh, to see out the rest of their golden years. The only things that we'll do um, as they do get older um, to sort of give them uh, that comfort that they need um, is uh, we already started uh, boiling up their vegetables. We might make the enclosure a little deeper and um, so make the floor um, uh, raise it up, put some more lining down uh, so that they have less distance to climb when they do um, come down to the ground. Um, they only come down to the ground to go to the toilet and that is only about once a week. Um, so uh, yeah, we want to make that climb down um, as easy as possible for them. Other than that, um, they'll probably uh, live out um, their last few years in luxury here at Folly Farm.